You know what's frustrating about Notion? It doesn't have any data visualization. Yeah, cool. I, it looks aesthetic overall, but like you need something like grid.is to make it look good. And I've always wondered what grid was like. I mean, looking at grid.is, you'll see that it is a wonderful data visualization tool that has a myriad of different graph types and connectors that allows you to take data sets and turn them into nice visualization. So for me, I know that I'm somebody who has client work, has projections I like to hit for myself. And this grid integration really allows me the opportunity to explore at a pretty solid price what I want to do in Notion while having graphs in there. So for free, you get unlimited documents and sharing. For the pro plan, you get a Slack integration, user groups and conversations, custom colors and fonts, document statistics, and embeds without watermarks. And I will point out the fact that, hey, it's 29 bucks a month because professionals will get an ROI on this, okay? Okay, so jumping right into this, you'll see that there are some really beautiful templates that exist. So I'll just take an example one right here, or this Project X model revenue calculator. And it's really cool because you can put all these custom buttons in here. You can put different revenue models within here. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that, you know, you put this in to figure out how much money you're going to make personally or for a business. It's it's like a website. And this is really exceptional. And say you had a data with a notion that you wanted to make a marketing report with, you can utilize this all the same. So if I right click and edit this, you'll see that it pulls from a bunch of different data sheets from the bottom here. So let's, let's go right down here to data. Wow. This is is exceptional. So what it basically did was it pulled stuff from an Excel spreadsheet. And as a digital marketer, I've seen many of these before. This is uh, digital marketing's bread and butter with all these different campaign types and there's different click metrics and whatnot. And it's really cool how this comes through. You can see what the different data was that came through. You can see how that they made all this data come together here. So as an example here, I'm going to make a little embed grid based on some random fun stats that I'm gonna definitely not make up right now. So if I made a database within here and I wanted to call it sales projections and another one I wanted to call demographics, actually I'm gonna go with some real data that exists, some stuff that be actually decently useful for this. Or let's do digital marketing metrics, make a couple number properties. It'll be impressions, clicks, and conversions, and cost. And then I'll have metrics here. And then I'm gonna put some demographic data, change this number to a percent, have it be 42% female, 58% male. And if I made a new page here, what I can do is go here and connect to a cloud source, which in this case would be Notion. And I can look up digital marketing data, metrics, and let's grab the other one, which would be demographics. And if I press allow access and select digital marketing metrics here, we'll have the metrics come through. So then what I can do is I can do a slash column chart and I can select some data here. So say I wanted to grab these metrics. And a nice thing that you can do is utilize the scratch pad here so that you can kind of tweak what's existing. And I can also add another data source, which would be the demographics. So if I grab this, let's do this. In the scratch pad, I'm actually gonna go with the demographical data first. So easy one, I'm gonna go into edit mode and put gender, male, female, then pop over the numbers. So 58%, 42%. Then within this, I can change this to a pie chart. Let's select some data. Actually, let's do a bar chart really quick and select this data, which you'll see here is that I can then grab the y-axis info by doing this and only grab this data right here. And then it gives me a nice little view of those. And you're able to customize with different color palettes within here, color by point. So I can change the female and the male colors to be different. And then if I do another embed of a column you can snag some of this data from here so if i do this as the data and use the y-axis labels as these i'm then able to quantify and see any sort of trend lines that i'd have within here so the title could then be metrics and then for this one i can go back make the title gender have the legend be right here so you can see what's male and female and then as well for this one i can change color palette to be color by point and then from there i could have some very nice embeds occur so what you're gonna do after that in order to make this happen is you can press share do a little uh notion embed as an example and then you make the document public right and then from there 
click on embed options, copy the embed. You can go back in here, do slash embed. And the next thing you know, you have really beautiful charts placed right into the software. Now, obviously a better option for this be, if I was kind enough to give you light theme <laughs> so you can look at it. And say I wanted to present this to somebody, I could obviously segment this gender and demographics data in a different way. So what I could do, so I could do slash column two, showcase the data and maybe a smaller set over here with this being a little bit more condensed, just like this. Pop this over here and pop this demographic section right over here. Maybe even flop the two. But you can see how very quickly and easily I was able to take some of the data that I had within Notion and give a better look at it rather than what is native within Notion. Cause I can even hover over these and see the metrics. And within this, I can do a lot of the same stuff with like minimums, maximums, number formatting, and stuff that you're gonna be able to do with any awesome and well set up application that can make graphs in DataViz. Check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.